What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder with this Season 6 Psy Spam slash Charizard team. If you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. Also, shout out to my boy Rufino for sending in this team right here. He sent me this team over on my Instagram page. So if you guys want to send me teams, best way to do it is heading that link in the description below. Click the link to my Instagram page, DM me your teams and rental codes over there. I check them on the daily. Sometimes I don't get the people, but if I am going to use your team, I will definitely message you guys back. But rocking out on this team, we got the Raladon up in this top right corner. This thing has Stalwart and a Soul Fest. Everybody knows how strong the Raladon actually is. This thing has Flash Cannon, T-Bolt, Draco Meter, and Dark Pulse. Just a normal moveset for this Raladon. We also got Life Orb Charizard, an absolute monster here with four attacking coverage moves right here. Two of them are actually stabbed with Blast Burn and Air Slash. And then Solar Beam for that coverage and Dragon Pulse for coverage as well. One thing I probably would change up on this would maybe be uh, Dragon Pulse into like Protect or something. Because I always like running a Protect on my GMAX Charizard. But Dragon Pulse also works well because we can actually get that attack drop. And it can be super effective to other different Dragon types. Because Dragon types are big in this meta. We also got Mr. Rhyme over here who's going to rock out against screens. Aurora Veil teams such as like Lapras. All that good stuff because it has a screen cleaner ability. So once it goes into battle it takes off all the screens the opposing team has. Also has his Wise Glasses so we can actually hit his uh. What do Wise Glasses do again? Does that raise special attack? I forget. I really do forget. I think Wise Glasses uh, make Special Attack do a little bit more damage. But this thing is Ice and Psychic type with Freeze Try, Ally Switch, Expanding Force that can work well when I get the Psychic Terrain rolling, and Fake Out. We also have My Shout over here with Fake Out, another Fake Out Pokemon. So we got two Fake Out Pokemon here Poison Jab for coverage, Close Combat, and Detect right here. Then, last two Pokemon, these guys work so well together. We got the Meow Stick right here with the Psychic Seeds and Prankster, and we got Alakazam with the Magic Guard and Focus Edge. Everybody knows Alakazam is a huge special attack in Pokemon with Expanding Force, Psychic, Dazzle Gleam, and Protect, and it's going to pair well with this Meow Stick because we can set up the Psychic Terrain, run Sunny Day with the Charizard, we have Ally Switch and Expanding Force with that as well. But guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, and if you do use it, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with it. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Honestly, I didn't think I would like Season 6 as much as I am liking it right now. I love it so much. I just feel like we're getting such a new variety of teams, and the game just feels brand new. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of uh, Season 6 so far. Again, I've been loving it, but this guy has a Trick Room team with Palisand, probably to pair up well with that uh, Prima Arena to get maybe Aqua Jet or a Water Compaction wrong with that with Weakness Policy. Same thing with that Colossal can go into an Aqua Jet onto the Colossal, trigger Weakness Policy and Steam Engine. Um, you got the Milotic, Trick Room with the Dust Cops, and then he has the right period so all these pokemon are really going to thrive in a trick room so i kind of gotta uh, do work on it early on kind of gotta do work on it early on but at the same time i do want to leave what's it called i really do want to leave meow stick and alakazam and then bring charizard in the back end and then as my final spot do i go to the Raladon? because the Raladon's kind of slow but the Raladon does get pieced up by a lot of these pokemon right now. Hmm. hmm who do i want to go into i think i'm going to do the Raladon. he has no screens to set up oh, i'm fine with that i do a freeze dry though I kind of want to send that. The freeze dry would be well for that Milotic. Oh my god. Mm, we have a Soul Fest and then we have a Thunderbolt as coverage move with the Raladon. So I'm going to go with the Raladon here. But earlier today, was it earlier today? Yeah, by the time I'm recording this earlier today, they announced Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. So it's like second installment for the Hyrule Warriors series. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up that game and if you guys are a fan of the Hyrule Warriors series. Because I did play the first one for the Wii U. I didn't get the definitive edition for the Switch, when I, but I played the regular one on the Wii U. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. But I just felt like the game kind of got repetitive after a little bit. So I probably only put like 40 hours into it. And then it was just like, bro. And I just dead stopped playing it right then and there. Which is like, and didn't hop back on through it. But I did have a blast on it uh, for the first time. But this guy is definitely going to send the, uh, the what's it called? The Steam Engine Colossal. I'm going to Expanding Force. I'm going to Expanding Force and try to pick up the KOs. That's fine with me. I do not have a fake out. So maybe he thinks I'm going to go into a fake out. Let's just see what he does. So maybe he might protect the Milotic. That could be awesome. Or not the Milotic, the Primarina. But you gotta think Meowstic has Fake Out, right? Everyone thinks, everyone's like, okay, Meowstic is going to Fake Out. But this one's not running Fake Out. We're gonna set up the Psychic Terrain, which is crazy because we can't use Indeedees anymore to just set up the Psychic Terrain instantly. That's just nuts. That is nuts. So this is like a new size spam way. <laughs> which is pretty cool. This is why I kind of picked out this team to show off. Um, because... Psy Spam has been dead, kind of, ever since uh, Season 6 started. But, it does not go for the Aqua Jet, unless Prankster just went before it. 
We'll see what happens. He did not Dynamax, which is awesome. Maybe he thinks I'm going for the fake out. Let's just see what he does. Battlefield gets a little weird. Here goes my Psychic Seeds. This thing does have Psychic Seeds on it, so we are going to boost our special defense, which is huge. Granny Force pops out. Big old double damage on these two. Yoink. Get it. Nice damage. Lovely. Ancient Power is coming out from Colossal. Going to go after my Alkazam, probably. You're going to double up into him. That's fine by me. Hyper Voice. We should be able to eat that up. Should be able to eat that up. Oh, I thought Alkazam was eating that up, man. That was close. That was close. But Meowstic's chilling. I have Expanding Force on Meowstic, so I can actually roll into... They're rolling the Charizard right now? Just D-Max? Hmm. I could just Dynamax in. Or I could save it for the back end and just roll uh, the route on. Is he no way he's gonna Dynamax. I think I just rolled the route on here and save Charizard for the back end. Nah, I probably should have brought out the Charizard and just roll into an expanding force here. Hmm. Definitely expanding force. And then uh drop a uh a T bolt. I think expanding force takes out Prima Arena, no problem. I feel like I just flash can over on Colossal and pick up a double kill and make sure Colossal at least goes down. I feel like Colossal is such a bigger threat than uh, the Prima Arena. But definitely the uh, the fake out or Meowstic having the fake out definitely threw him off. Because I, I for sure thought he was going to go into an Aqua Jet into Colossal Steam Engine. But I think he thought I was going to fake out. So he just went into that and didn't waste his Dynamax and all that. Let's see what he does from here. There's no way he's going to Dynamax. He's got to keep that because hmm, I don't know. But if not, Charizard should be able to come out here outspeed. Or I can just come into an ally switch and just roll out from there. Ban it, ban it. I feel like I definitely should have went into the Charizard, though. He does end up Dynamax. I should have went into the Charizard. I kind of... Mm, I should have. 100% should have. I probably would have outsped, or I could just ally switch this turn. I probably should have ally switch this turn. I'm hoping we can outspeed. I'm hoping we can just outspeed this Colossal. Which, probably not. If it's Steam Engine up, maybe Expanding Force will pick up the KO. But I can definitely just ally switch next turn, Dynamax, and roll from there. Potentially sweep with the Charizard. We'll see what happens. Aqua Jet comes out. Saw that coming all day. Oh my god, that's a good amount of damage to it. But we're definitely going to be taking out the Colossal. The Colossal should be dead either way. If we get hit by the Expanding Force. Or the, uh... Or the what's it called? Or the Flash Cannon. But he's definitely going to take out my Duraldon, which I'm totally fine with. I'm 100% fine. So, potential double KO here. I need to go for the Flare, so you set the Sun. I'll take that all day. That helps me out tremendously. That helps me out tremendously. Now, I don't have to set up a Sunny Day with Meowth Stick. I can pick up the double kill here with the Expanding Force. Charizard comes in here, and we can just pester Ally Switch, and maybe just... End this match. Commanding Force comes out. Double kill. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love where we're sitting right now. No Dynamax for him. We still have our Charizard with that Life Orb. And we got Meowstic as a support mod. We got the Sun set up. We got our Terrain set up. We are looking good. Match number one. Going good so far. Let's see if we can keep it rolling. Bring out Charizard. And we do have Airstream so I can take speed advantage if I really want to. But we'll just see what's going on. We just gotta see his other two Pokemon. He didn't roll a Trick Room. But he might have a Trick Room Mon set up, and there you go. Which I would just go after right now, because I feel like an Expanding Force and uh, a G-Max Wildfire should be able to take out. That's big damage with Charizard. Everyone knows. Don't get Charizard in the sun. Don't get Charizard in the sun, especially with Life Orb. Oh! It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Bam, bam, bam. Make a move, dog. Make a move. See, that's why I was surprised. I was like, he really Dynamax. That worked out well for us. He goes into Dust Clops. That's fine. Flops in it. My ally switch. He's going right here. Policing. He goes policing. That's totally fine by me. Expanding Force got to pop. And we got to get after our Dynamax. Pressure's coming in here. That's totally fine. No frisk. No frisk. Okay. A little whack. Expanding Force. We're doing Alice Switch. Nah. We're just going to go for that Expanding Force. And I'm a Dynamax. I'm going to send that G-Max Wildfire. I feel like Wildfire would do more. And I don't even know. Who would be better to go after? Dustclops, maybe? Policy might protect. I'm gonna go after Dust Cops. Alison might actually protect to try to get off a of Trick Room. So, I don't really wanna risk it. I really don't wanna risk it. I'd rather just go after his Dust Cops, probably take him out with the Expanded Force and Sunny Day. The Dust Cops aren't rolling, okay? D Max Zard comes out. Look at him, yo. Big dog over here. I love how his stomach looks like an egg. Like, I don't know, the, the design pattern on it just makes it look like an egg. You gonna protect Alison? He does not. But so, we're going after his Dust Cops. We're gonna take this thing out. Pop. See you later. See you later, yo. You ain't touching Charizard. You ain't touching Charizard in the sun. He's too strong. He's too strong. I absolutely love Charizard teams. Except for like in season one. They were running things. They were running things. Like Charizard was huge in season one. When this game first kind of came out. Expanded Force comes out. Half health. Hypnosis coming out here. Um, we should be fine. 
we should be fine because another expanded force will take out that thing unless it's over with. Unless the psychic terrain is over with. I still feel like we should be able to take it out because we have the G-Max Wildfire going. He does an easy match. It's an easy match. But shout out to this guy. He's got a shiny Polisand, which is absolutely dope. It just looks so cool. Just cancel, buddy. Just cancel. Just cancel. You know, sick of running things. Charizard running things. Yo, I love this team. First match in the bag. We got to show off Charizard. Alkazan did some work early on with the expanding forces. Um, who else? Duraldon. He kind of just took a shot for us. and kind of... That's it, but still, everyone knows what Doralda can do, but Charizard, Meowstic, Alkazam, definitely showed up this game. Uh, this guy's not going to quit. You are not going to quit? What you mean, dog? What are you doing? Spanner Force comes out, now you're dead. Now you're gone. What you think was going to happen? Later. Later, son. So, size spam still working in Season 6. Let's get it. We go 1-0 and o to start off this video. We're going to hop into our second battle and try to get a win streak rolling. We got a little bit of Sun Team versus Sun Team coming at you guys for battle number two. This guy has Charizard as well, and he has Nine Tails actually just set the sun. Do I even bring in Meowstic? You know, it is a great little uh, support mon here for the Psychic Terrain. I might not even bring it. I might lead uh, Rhyme and My Shell, or do I go Rhyme and Duraludon and roll from there and just see how that plays out? Because do we really need the Psy Spam this game? I really don't think we need it too too much. Hmm. Usually Meowstic's just there for the size spam or the uh, the sunny day. But if he's gonna set the sunny day, I'm totally cool with that. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go my shot for the lead, I think. We do have fake out. I don't wanna lead rhyme. I really don't wanna lead rhyme. But you know what? Let's go Meowstic. Hmm. Now you know what? Let's go my shot and Alkazam. Let's double up on them and then go to Rowland on Charizard. Take one last look at this guy's team. I think we should be good with that. I don't think we need Alkazam in the size spam. Like, obviously, it helps considering we have Expanding Force and all that. But I just feel like Alkazam could do work on its own, and we really do not need that Meowstic. Even though Meowstic does rock. But, mm. We made our play already. We did make our play already. Battle number two coming at you guys. We're going up against Ulysses. Ulysses. Hopefully, you watch the Jeans videos. Yo, if you're watching this video, comment down in the comments section down below for me. <laughs> Turns out Charizard and Ferrothorn for turn one. Shiny. Shiny, boys. Um... Definitely gotta fake out that Ferrothorn. Might protect, to be honest with you. Um, Charizard's probably gonna Dynamax. So, I'm fine with that. Get that fake out. And do I just go into a Psychic? Yeah, let's get the Psychic rolling. Over onto the Czar. Over onto the Czar. Because my Alkazam should 100% outspeed this thing. Go Alkazam. If he's like fully maxed out on the speed stats. Because they get to like 190 speed. I'm gonna withdraw that still gone. Going with the Nine Tails, that's again, that's totally fine. I have a Charizard in my back end. He's probably gonna G Max Wildfire up on me. Drought coming out here. Drought coming out. You got a Dynamax, right? That's why I didn't fake you out. Let's see. Yeah, okay. The Drought coming out. That's fine. Again, this is why we didn't need Miasa. And hopefully, you go after my Alkazam and we still get a Psychic off. And then I can just roll out and do some work. And hopefully, my Charizard would outspeed that. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out. He's a beast in the sun. Alkazam, go ahead. Go ahead, Alkazam. Fake out's gonna come out first. Just do a little bit of chip damage. A little bit of smack. Oh, is that a crit? Jeez, man. It's the most fake out damage I've ever seen. Psychic comes out. Yoy. Doing some big damage. And is he gonna go for a wildfire? He's gonna go for an airship. He's gonna start boosting speed over on my Mashal. Mashal going. Hi, Mashal. It's all good, buddy. It's all good, Mashal. Alright, so speed boost for them. Looking a little tough, dude. Mm. I'm gonna hope. Alkazam actually outspeeds. I gotta Dynamax my Charizard. That's a definitely an option. Solar power doing work. And I feel like Charizard's gotta come out. We gotta Dynamax Charizard. Go after our Charizard with his Charizard. <laughs> and try to get rolling. Try to get rolling. Let's go here. Go into our Airstream. That's our best bet over on this guy. And then roll into a Psychic over onto the Ninetales. Because Ninetales cannot take out my Alkazam because we are Sash. There's no way he's doubling in into me. He's got to be going for a Heat Wave and then into maybe uh, another Airstream. Which I think my Charizard should be able to eat up an Airstream from his Charizard. No problem. Unless he gets a crit, which he probably will. Because we already got our crit with our Fake Out. But big boy Charizard. Come on, buddy. Come on. Charizard's so good. Just like the moves he learned and the stats are just... Oh, my God. He's a god. He's so good. Here's Heat Wave. Saw that coming. Alkazam drops down to 19. Crit on my Alkazam. I knew a crit was coming soon. And here comes an airstream, right? Airstream, don't you dare double up him to my Alkazam. Yeah, I didn't think so. Charizard should be able to eat that up. Yep. 
We looking pretty good here. I'm thinking we should be able to maybe pick up a double kill here. I think so. Yeah, we should be able to pick up a double kill, no problem. Psychic comes out. Yeah, oh, take him out. Take him out. There goes one. Oh! Oh no, please! No! No! No, please! That's whack! That is whack. Nine tails doesn't go down here, but Alkazam should be able to outspeed the Nine Tails now. But still, like what do you mean? <laughs> I seriously thought that Alakazam or the, the Ninetales was going down there. But we matched speed down. Actually, no, she's plus two. And I, my charge is going to go down. Solar power. Ah! Oof! E! No! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. It's in a little trouble somewhere. Oh man, dude, I totally forget about the life orb and solar power damage. How much that takes you out. That was, how much were we at? 34? It took me down. Ah! That's tough news, but dude, this Ninetales should be gone. This Ninetales was gone. This match would actually be really, really good. I don't know. How, how's this going to come down? Here? I, I don't have Protect on my Alkazam. I'm going to T-Bolt you. I do have Protect on my Alkazam. You got to go for the Heat Wave, right? Kind of tough. And I got to hope maybe I outspeed that thing. I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. Let's see. Ninetales does outspeed. Yeah. Ugh, that's going to be game. It's gonna be game. We do eat up because it's so fast. But no! No, no, no! T Bolt comes out. Ferrothorn's definitely gonna do something crazy. Gyro Bolt? No, not Gyro Bolt. Body press? If I got a body press up on me to take me out, right? Here comes, yep, the body press. Ah! Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. We survive. We survive. So you're saying there's a chance. There's two Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna need to take out. I'm gonna need to one shot both these guys, which I think it's impossible. Gastron and a. Uh, and a Ferrothorn. Yeah, not happening. And I gotta hope that they miss. It's not happening. I'm just gonna run from the battle. Yo, GG. We are now one and one. We're gonna hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record for you guys. But I feel like that battle totally could have went different if the Nine Tails would have went down there. D, e, that would have been pretty close. Another Steam Engine Colossal team right here with Verizian, which is pretty dope. I love Verizian. I just love everything about it. Just like the design and then the typing on it is just awesome. But we're going for a winning record. We're going to try to do it for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We're trying to do it for you guys. Let's get it. Um, Who should I lead? I, think, I feel like Psy Spam just works well again. Psy Spam always rocks out. He has the Aqua Jet. We already know that. We already know the Aqua Jet's coming out. And I could just sash up because you're going to go after my Alkazam, right? You're going to go after my Alkazam. So I'm going to go here, here. Potentially make a uh, threat to go for the fake out or or i could just go my shout and actually fake out the weebow and just stop playing around <laughs> and just start murking on things now because then i'll just aqua jet next turn i feel like right here is good he has no way of putting up screens i feel like charizard and mr rhyme should come out here yeah let's go rhyming let's get rhyming yo let's get after this because we haven't i think rhyme's the only pokemon we haven't played yet yeah rhyme's the only pokemon we haven't played yet but Mr. Ryan works very, very well up against Lapras because we can screen clean. We also have the freeze drive. We have all that good stuff. So, uh, if they got Lapras or a screen team, you definitely throw in Rhyme. But the reason I am bringing Rhyme here is because, uh, we can actually have a fake out. We have, uh, expanding force with that thing as well, especially because we're setting up the side spam. And we have freeze drive, which can, uh, do work up against that Gastrodon. Everybody knows Gastrodon's a pain. He's gonna lead, uh, I think Weavile. Colossal? Oh, Weavile does clash. Yo, you crazy, dog. Dude's probably gonna go for the triple axle. Um, pressure's coming out here. Why is everyone using pressure now? Oh no, who has pressure? Okay, someone else had uh, someone else had pressure. I think we all had the pressure. Um, I could gleam. I could just gleam up, but I'd rather go for an expanding force. Well, it has no effect. I think I'm gonna gleam here and just drop a uh. Do I still get after this with the psychic turn? Yeah, I think we definitely still get get after this because I can get the special defense up boost. I think he's going to triple axle on my Alkazam, and I think it's going to take him out. Let's see what happens. Geez, yo, we bow. No effect on the on the side spam, man. No effect on it. He might swap out. Yeah, he's going to swap out into Colossal. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Like, he's not Dynamaxing. Are you Aqua Jetting into it? That would, that's weird. I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't get his uh, motives in like, what that play was. You should just let the Colossal. Wouldn't that be better for you? Here goes my Siege, yo. My Siege, baby. Popping. Giving us a nice little special defense boost. He's going to go for a Surf. So, I just don't get the play there. I just don't get the play there. Like, yeah, you get the Steam Engine and all that. But. 
but it's like you don't get a turn here. Like you have no turn here. And Gleam comes out, he's gonna be able to do some damage. And then I can just double expanding force here. Actually, no, I'd rather Gleam here, take out the Weebot, and then just expanding force this side. But it's, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm just confused here. But what his motive is. Like, I don't know. It's kind of worked out pretty well, though. Considering he has like, a lot of HP here. Oh, he has decent eyes, isn't it? Gleam. Then we can roll out here. T, what you got? Hey, hey, what you got? Hey, 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 what you got? What you want? Hey, hey. Here goes this. Uh, Weebile is probably going to uh, just like. I think he's going to go into a triple axle and try to take out my Alexander. Dan, 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 See, he goes first. He's going to go for an overgrowth. He's going to change up the terrain. Smart little cookie. Yastic should be able to eat this up too. If I can set up the terrain next turn, that's fine. That's totally fine. You want to change the terrain like that. I have Prankster as ability. And hopefully Alkazam outspeeds that Weavile. No, it does not. He's going to go into a triple axle. Yeah, saw that coming. Eat up. No, he's not going to be able to eat up. Oh, no. It only hit one time. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I thought it always hits three times. No. But then I realized it's like chances and it gets more damage. It goes 30, 60, 90, I think, base power. It's just nasty. Expanded Force comes out over there. I'm going to change up that terrain again. You know, I don't want you to have the grassy terrain again. You cannot have it. You cannot have it. Bam, bam, bam. Do I protect here? I feel like I just, uh, Psychic Terrain and Protect. I really do wonder what this thing's gonna go get after. What are you gonna do? I could set up the Sunny Day, but that's just gonna help him out. He's gonna set up the Trick Room for sure. For sure. The Trick Room is gonna get rolling. E! Um. Just drop an Expanding Force. I can get that off. That'd be wonderful. And we're gonna try to take Terrain advantage. Definitely Trick Room, man. I can't, I can't do anything about it right here. So, we're just gonna have to let that happen. Change that terrain back up. Give me terrain. No overgrowth terrain for you. Even though that doesn't really help out anybody. Maybe it's Ferrothorn when he comes in, if he has Ferrothorn in the back. And here comes a Vo Vocalith to take out my Zam. Taking out my Zam with it. Leave him alone. Eat it up. No way. He's eating that. Not a chance. Uh, the real question is do I set up the sun this turn? I cannot protect Charizard. I cannot protect Charizard. See, this is why I wish I had protect. I could ally switch. I could ally switch, which is probably gonna happen. Oh, Vocalist is gonna take me out. Okay, that thing really went for it. Actually, I thought he was going for tricking. Mmm, sitting, sitting a little troublesome here. Sitting a little troublesome. So definitely Dynamax Charizard. Gotta watch out for the Vocal. We do outspeed. We do outspeed. He didn't set up the tricking. But we 100% outspeed. We might as well double up into the, uh, into the Colossal, right? Right? It's wildfire down. Now we gotta go for an airstream, but airstream's not very effective either. The best bet would probably be attack drop or overgrowth. Hmm. Grass terrain or overgrowth? Uh, attack drop probably a little bit better. I said we just get this terrain so we can get some uh, HP back. I think I gotta double up into this thing. You know, freeze dry poo poo. I expanded force. Let's get it. We do have the terrain. The terrain is on our side. Until I switch it up. Well, I'm switching it up now with an overgrowth. <laughs> Maybe I should have went to the pulse. But that's the one thing. We don't have protect on this. Thing. So if we don't take it out here, like it's a game. If we don't take it out here, it's a game. It's going to just vocal it, drop it on me. Or, un or unless he guards and it goes into a trick. But either way, that's, that's tough news. Unless we, unless we read the guard. And I the wildfire over onto Duskots, but I, don't, I really don't think he's gonna go. Does not. He goes for the vocal. He got speeds me, yo. It's tough news. Maybe I should just ally switch. It's gonna be game. This is why I wish I had protect on it. Man, man, that's my boy can clutch up. You guys think Rhyme can clutch up with the terrain? Get it, Rhyme. Get it. No mercy, buddy. No mercy. <laughs> Nah, yeah, that one's the game. That's just a tough one. He's gonna taunt me. That's totally fine. We already going after tax. I'm surprised singing ain't rolling Trick Room. Maybe he thinks I have Trick Room. But yeah, Colossal definitely coming up clutch. Coming up clutch. Rhyme outspeeds. No, he doesn't. I'm gonna have to hope he misses. We just pick up double kills on the daily. Expanding Force. Get after it. We're going for it. I'm gonna say Colossal misses because he's doo doo. 
Don't watch him miss his rock slide. Watch him miss his rock slide because he's trash. Heat wave. Oh, he goes for the heat wave. That's game. <laughs> this thing rolls right into the heat wave. He rolls right into the heat wave. I want him to go for the rock slide, but this guy's playing smart. Yo, GG. We got one and two for this video. Not too bad. At least we got to show off that first battle and have a very, very strong first one. My dude, Rafino, thank you so much for dropping this team. I really do appreciate it. I absolutely love this team. I just wish we could have gotten one more win and went two and one instead of one and two. But I still had tons of fun and absolutely love the uh, team synergy on it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.